Hello, my name is Chad Lampton. I work in the Cartridge Engineering Group here at Sun Hydraulics. Today I'll be giving a brief overview of the parameters of Sun's embedded amplifier. When you initially connect the handheld programmer to the embedded amplifier via the infrared key reader and turn on the handheld programmer, the first thing that you will see is the initiating screen, which shows Sun Hydraulics and the version 2.01. When you click the down arrow once, it will take you to the mode screen. This screen shows you that you are in mode 1, outside the parentheses. Inside the parentheses, it shows you that your command signal is from 0 to 10 volts and that the enable is not connected, or NC. Pressing the down arrow again brings you to the next parameter, which is minimum input. This parameter allows you to set the minimum input from your command signal, 0.2 volts in this case. Pressing the down arrow again allows you to set your maximum input, 10 volts in this case. Our amplifier is designed for a minimum input of 0 volts and a maximum input of 10 volts. However, this can be adjusted to any value in that range. For example, 0 to 5 volts, 0.5 to 4.5 volts, etc. The current controlled model can respond from 4 to 20 milliamps input or anything in that range. The value shown in parentheses on both the minimum and maximum output screens shows the actual signal that is being supplied to the amplifier at that moment. Pressing the down arrow again brings you to the next parameter of minimum output. The default value is 5 milliamps. Again, the value in the parentheses shows the actual current being supplied from the amplifier at the moment, zero in this case. The next parameter is the maximum output with the default setting of 590 milliamps. Again, inside the parentheses shows the actual output current. The next parameter is the dither frequency with the default setting of 140 hertz. This can be adjusted anywhere from 80 hertz to 300 hertz, or it can be turned off altogether. The next parameter is the ramp up time. This can be set anywhere from 0 to 120 seconds. The default value is 0. The next parameter is the ramp down time, which can also be set from 0 to 120 seconds, with a default value of 0. The default values of the parameters will change based on the model. The next four parameters are considered monitoring parameters. On these screens, there is nothing for you to adjust, only to monitor. The first shows the command input. The next shows the output current. The third is the supply voltage with 23.8 volts in this case. This is the actual voltage being supplied to the amplifier. The last parameter shows the fault status and will list any faults with the amplifier. Pressing the down arrow again brings you to the firmware version screen and once more back to the initial screen. The initial screen also displays the amplifier's model number. Thank you for watching this short video. Be sure to watch our other instructional videos featuring Sun Hydraulics products. And as always, please visit us on the web at sunhydraulics.com.